As protests are roiling college campuses nationwide in the United States, with students demanding that universities cut financial ties to Israel because of the Hamas war, we bring you the latest updates related to the Israel-Hamas conflict. Current proposal before Hamas includes 40-day ceasefire, says UK's David Cameron. Israeli officials concerned about possible ICC arrest warrants as pressure mounts over war in Gaza. Biden and Netanyahu speak as pressure is on Israel over planned Rafah invasion and ceasefire talks. British Foreign Secretary David Cameron announced on Monday that the current proposal presented to Hamas regarding the Gaza conflict involves a sustained 40-day ceasefire and the potential release of thousands of Palestinian prisoners in exchange for Israeli hostages. Cameron expressed hope that Hamas would accept the deal, emphasizing the urgency and generosity of the proposal during a special meeting of the World Economic Forum in Riyadh. Israeli officials are growing increasingly apprehensive about potential arrest warrants from the International Criminal Court. These arrests target the country's leaders amidst mounting international pressure regarding the conflict in Gaza. In recent days, Israeli officials have referenced an ICC investigation initiated three years ago into alleged war crimes by both Israel and Palestinian militants dating back to the 2014 Israel-Hamas war. The investigation also scrutinizes Israel's settlement construction in occupied territories which Palestinians seek for a future state. On Monday, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken emphasized that Israel still needs to do more to enhance the flow of humanitarian assistance into the besieged Gaza Strip. He stated that during the current trip to the Middle East, he would advocate for this with Israeli leaders. Addressing foreign ministers of the Gulf Cooperation Council in Riyadh, Blinken highlighted that the most effective approach to alleviate the humanitarian crisis in Gaza would involve reaching a long-sought ceasefire agreement that would secure the release of hostages held by Hamas. However, he stressed the immediate necessity of improving conditions in Gaza. The White House announced that U.S. President Joe Biden once again spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu amid increasing pressure on Israel and Hamas to broker a deal that would secure the release of some Israeli hostages and establish a ceasefire in the nearly seven-month-long Gaza conflict. The White House emphasized that Biden reaffirmed his firm stance against Israel's planned invasion of Gaza's southern city of Rafah, despite concerns for the safety of over 1 million Palestinians taking shelter there. The U.S. opposes the invasion on humanitarian grounds, leading to strains in the relationship between the two allies.